Factoring 20b is very similar to 20a. We have a quad of a fourth degree polynomial, a fourth degree here, a squared here, and a constant term here. This really is following a quadratic pattern, and it's easier to see when we can replace the a squared with another variable a. So when I replace the a squared with a, I'm going to end up with big A squared minus 17A, so the A squared replaced, the A is replaced by the A squared, or sorry, the A squared is replaced by the A, and then we end up with plus 16. So this is factorable like a regular quadratic. We have two numbers that multiply to 16 and add to negative 17. So we're looking at A minus, 16 and a minus 1. So this is really not a, but we're going to back substitute this. This is really x squared. So we're going to write the x squared in here. So it's an a, we're going to re replace that back with the x squared. And we end up with x squared minus 16. That is further factorable. And we end up with x squared minus 1, which again is also further factorable. So factoring this down as a difference of squares, we get x plus 4, x minus 4. And just highlighting this here, this portion here generates that factor. And for the next part here, this x squared minus 1, we can factor to x plus 1, x minus 1, and this portion here is going to give us these factors here.